YouTube golfers fake their scores? Are they lying to you online? This is a question I want to try to answer today. I got my homie Eric's YouTube golf highlights playing in the background, thought it was fitting for today to play some YouTube highlights. We're going to jump into this topic because this is something that on and off I've gotten obviously questions about all the time. And as someone who covers this space and talks about this space, this definitely feels like a hill I need to personally climb and speak on, hopefully behalf of a bunch of YouTube creators. Now, the reason why I'm talking about this today is twofold. Number one, I got a pretty interesting comment last night. So this was on one of my recent videos and it was from Marquez Maladona. 3970 and he said hey Nate where do you stand on the topic of YouTube golf being fake and some of these YouTube golf personalities lying about their scores but still pushing products that they themselves don't believe in but want to push it on their audience I have sadly seen this in person firsthand would love to know what you think about that topic it's a real thing and was sad to have worked with multiple people in the space to just find out that some channels aren't real we videographers see everything so that's a juicy that's a juicy little nugget and we are going to talk all about it um yeah that's a juicy one this and then this morning out of nowhere martin Baumgartner, i think that's how you say his last name the world long drive guy posted this video which is him basically showing the difference between youtube golf and quote unquote real golf so there's just a whole lot to cover so hit that subscribe button if you enjoy it and we're gonna get right into it okay so uh before we go into specifics of creators and channels and these real accusations here let me just break down youtube golf for you guys in my opinion this is all my opinion youtube golf in my opinion is an entertainment vessel right it's an opportunity for you guys to be entertained if you want and martin says this in his video if you want to go watch the best golf real golf true rural sticking golf that's just like as good as possible you're going to go and watch the pga tour obviously if you just want to be entertained Maybe see some good golf here and there, but be entertained, watch people hit golf shots that you find interesting, you go to YouTube. A great example is how many times a YouTuber will pick the more sexy play of, you know, driving the green on a drivable par four with water all around it versus just doing the smart and boring thing of hitting a six iron to the center of the fairway, hitting another six iron onto the green. Like there's a real juxtaposition that happens through the entertainment versus the good golf side. And most YouTube golfers, if they were playing in a tournament, might play things slightly differently than they do on camera. Now, you do encounter videos on YouTube where golfers will claim to be trying to break a certain score or to be trying to, you know, shoot under par, whatever it is. And there's, I would say, a juxtaposition between the two different styles of content right there that I want to kind of break down. And that's if you're out there playing a match and you're playing a match versus a friend and it's a Bob to sports style video and it's Joe and all it's fun, who cares? Who cares if we're fluffing up lies? Who cares if you're pulling the ball, as long as your playing partner is fine with it, you're pulling the ball out of a, a pitch mark in the, or a divot in the ground, or you both agree you take a breakfast ball on the first tee, like whatever it is. Like if you're out there playing a match, you're having fun, you're creating entertaining content on camera as a YouTuber, I think as long as you're like not lying to the audience saying you're not doing something and you're showing that you're doing it and then you and your playing partner are fine with it, it's no big deal. That side of YouTube golf is you playing with your buddies on the weekend. It really is. It's just a camera that's there. Like it's a fun, jovial time. Nobody's taking it seriously. The score does not matter for any. However, there is the other side of YouTube golf where I do hope creators are honorable in that if they're trying to break a score, if they're trying to shoot a score, that they are playing, you know, relative to the rules of golf. Like, again, if it's not an actual tournament and your ball is next to a root, like don't break your wrist or your club. Sure, move that. But like for the most part, try to honor general rules if you're going to go out there and claim that you you broke this score you shot this score and like you're really like that was your goal was to shoot a certain score so there are those two distinctions and martin does a great job in his video kind of breaking it down if you haven't seen it go watch it he talks about just little things that youtubers will do like pick up and clean your ball kind of lift clean in place everywhere all the time give yourself preferred lies like things of that nature and then obviously the more aggressive side playing you know more drivers and less smart layups and things of that nature he actually goes on in that video to show a comparison of him playing a tournament ball quote unquote versus a youtube ball and how much better he actually scores with the youtube ball the video is a great example of showing how much easier it can be to play youtube golf in that sense okay so that's like the the general differences and kind of you know juxtaposition between like what youtube golf can be and is let's get to this let's get to this sort of like 
blatant call out here um i don't think i'd be giving this too much attention if it wasn't that he was claiming he was a videographer for a bunch of top youtubers um mark mark haas or however you say your name i apologize dm me on instagram uh let's talk more about this if this is something you want to get into and share because i'd be interested to hear specifics but going off what he commented on where do you stand about YouTube personalities lying about their scores? The product pushing thing, uh, that's kind of irrelevant. I'm talking about scores today. Listen, I've been around lots of content creators personally while they're filming videos. And I've never noticed anything like this. I have great relationships with a lot of the videographers and the editors and behind the scenes people in the space. I've also never heard claims of anything like this. But again, it's like, I think there might be levels to it, right? Like if we're talking about faking a score because you lift clean and placed a ball that was like, it, you weren't playing lift clean and placed on the course that day, but you just did it because there was mud on it. I don't consider that lying and cheating about like, you know what I mean? Like there's there's levels to it. But if you hit a ball OB, and then you just re T and you don't, you cut the clip of you hitting the ball OB and then you're just hitting it straight. like. That's not great. That's probably not something we want to be doing. So I need a, I do need some differentiation between what he's trying to say here, but he does go on to say that he has sadly seen this all firsthand and in person. And it's real sad to see in the space, channels not being real. And as a videographer, he sees everything. And that would be, I mean, videographers and editors, those would be the two people that could probably make the most realistic claims if someone is being true or not with their scores. But again, I would say the motivation to do this is is probably not there because on in youtube in general and in youtube golf it doesn't really matter what you shoot it doesn't really matter how well you play and like unless unless you're going to accuse garrett of which i know this isn't the case but like unless you're going to accuse garrett of like not shooting his 64 or 65 or whatever it was like none of the shots all fake the whole thing was staged da 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 da, da like what was the, what's the purpose? What's the purpose of like one or two shots here or there faking it? Like why? Like your score doesn't matter. Like that video was about score, but unless you're gonna accuse him of faking the whole thing, like it doesn't make sense. It doesn't make sense that you would accuse a YouTube golfer of like doing one shot here or there. Cause I just don't think the benefits there. We don't get paid more if we shoot lower. We don't get paid, you know, a better premium from YouTube AdSense if our score is lower. So there's, there's not the incentive and motivation there to do it in my opinion, but this is an interesting topic. This is definitely something that if it came out, it wouldn't look good on a creator. And I'm sure most creators, you know, would fight this tooth and nail, say that they've never done this and they would never do this. And I think it upholds a standard. I think, you know, you see a tournament play, you judge their play versus on YouTube. That's tough because tournament play is just way tougher in general. And any one of your buddies that's a stick on the golf course goes out and plays tournament golf. Great chance that they're not gonna play nearly as well in the tournament. And that's probably the same with YouTube. But again, there is a huge difference if a YouTuber is intentionally just being like, oh no, that shot was bad. Let's retake this whole thing and like scrap that and then lies. I don't think that's happening. That's my opinion. But I'm gonna dig more into this. I'm gonna message this guy or get him to message me. I'm gonna dig into it more and I'll come back if I find anything interesting. But let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. I thought this was an inter interesting one to address because his comment, Martin's video, and it's definitely a topic in the YouTube golf world. I'll see you in the next one.